Well, I want to go over a little trick on how to grease um, the non-greasable ball joints, tie rod ends, and any kind of fittings you can't get grease into. Now, typically, this is like your, your grease gun, you know, a good type that uh, uses one hand. You know, it doesn't have that big lever you got to use. Uh, I have another one of those like that. It has a nice long um, hose on it so you can bend it any different way you want. And you can get at any grease fitting with this thing pretty much. And you do have to change these hoses every once in a while because they get rotted out. But if you have a grease fitting that doesn't have a Zerk fitting on it, you could try installing them, but they're very difficult and kind of way to install because you have to drill a certain amount into the tie rod end and tap it and it's it's a little iffy to actually get it properly installed where you're going to channel some grease. But what you could use, they have these needle type uh, fittings that go on the end of the grease gun and you can actually get grease underneath the boot or actually through the boot, make a pinhole in it and you don't necessarily have to seal up that pinhole again because it's so small but you could fill it up again with um, some type of um, uh, weather strip adhesive or something like that and uh, it could pretty much it could reseal it but you know once you fill up the dry grease fitting it should stay filled up this comes with a little plastic um, protector on it and it's got a little tiny opening where the grease is going to come out so what you do is you put this on the end of it, you just push it on. Now, I'm going to use, uh, I'm actually going to loosen this up. In other words, the jaws on this, you can loosen up this way. Just slide this on. I don't know if I'll be able to put it on one hand, but I probably could. Yeah, there it is. And then, you want to tighten down the jaws of the grease, the grease gun fitting, the, the end of the grease gun. So this holds on here nice and tight. So there's no leakage out of this end. So all you have to do is I'll show you how to get over to, you know, do a grease fitting that doesn't have any Zerk fitting on it. A, you know, a rubber boot that doesn't have Zerk fitting on it where you can grease that fitting using this. Now here would be an example. You could take, say for instance, right in between here and maybe loosen up this bolt and get some grease in between here or you could actually grease stick the needle in here and it can get into the crevices or if you have um, something like up on here you can see that rubber grease fit that doesn't have a uh, zerk fitting on it and that's like a difficult to find expensive part if you ever had to change that because it wore out because it got dry you could actually stick the end of this needle into that rubber boot and fill it up. Now I've already done that I don't want to keep doing it because or you know because you poke too many holes in it and I have to re I like to refill up the holes that I poke in a rubber boot with uh, um, weather strip adhesive but sometimes you can also lift the boot up with a screwdriver just lifting that boot up on the bottom between and then take this needle and get it up underneath there and really fill it up and fill up that boot and eventually that grease will work its way around so a lot of times these bushings like in here you know you might not be able to get in there they might you know very good with grease and this is squeaking uh, you can actually if there's a little slot or a little opening around this bushing on one corner or something or if you loosen this up a hair you put that needle in there and you put some grease on there and it will quiet it down. This thing comes in extremely handy for getting all those places that you really can't get grease to and also in between the leaf springs. Like if you jack up this Jeep, you put it on jacks, those leaf springs will be expanded where there will be a little gap in between them. And then you could take this needle, stick it between that gap and grease all the leaves on that and I use a waterproof, a high quality waterproof um, silicone based high performance grease that's good for all applications whether it's uh, wheel bearings or high temperature wheel bearing applications, marine applications and um, ball joints and tie rods. I use, a, I use a very very high quality grease for everything but this little needle extension 
is extremely, extremely useful. So let me see if you could see that very carefully. It's all it is. It's like a little needle. And to keep that needle on there tight, is you, you tighten down the jaws. So I tighten this down like that. So the jaws are holding that needle in place. And then to take it out, you just loosen up the jaws and it'll it'll come, you'll be able to pull it out. This is extremely handy because this little, I don't know what they are, three, four bucks, we could save you literally hundreds or maybe even thousands of dollars of worn out parts and problems with your vehicle over the long run besides making it a hell of a lot quieter not having squeaks so it's uh and it's something they will not do in the garages they don't they don't do this stuff they just they grease whatever fitting has a zerk on it and they miss half of them so if you want to do the job you do the job right to do the job right you do it yourself and here when this thing is done keep this little plastic case because this thing if it's in your toolbox it's got that sharp end it'll poke you in the finger I was keeping this in a little compartment on my toolbox I put the zerk fitting piece this you the needle goes back in this little plastic case so if you're grabbing it you're going to reach for it you don't get jabbed in the finger just remember to do that too